Good morning. Here we are back in Vin's world. Oh, I could do with a brazier at the moment. It's a bit chilly here at the moment. Might be might be April and we've had some warm days, but oh not today. <laughs> it's very cloudy. And maybe I should have made myself a cup of tea to warm my hands on this morning, but I didn't. Um, well, I have had tea, of course. Right, Vincent. Here he is. This is upstairs in the school. Hey, Mac. His hubby's here helping him out. Um, so what we've got so far... We've got the beginnings of a bedroom. We've got the... We've got a bathroom with a sunk sink. Um, I might want to do something behind there. I'm not quite sure what yet. Um, we've got a little balcony. That's that's actually Vin and Max's house right there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Travelling, eh? You want to go travelling? Well, we might have to, mister, because... Uh, ooh. How much wood have I got? Not quite sure what state my resources are in. Okay, we've got some wood, but I think we're going to need more than that. Um, oh. Yeah, maybe actually block that up. I'm going to block it up. Uh, a short shack wall. Maybe. I don't think it does anything. <laughs> That's going through, that's no good. I don't think it does anything to block the sound. There we go. Oh, come on. Of that turret. But at least you're not seeing the thing. Um, so, okay. So we can see some of Sanctuary Hills. We've got some light. See how it's the back woods there. So we have a bit of a defensive position. Hello, Arcane! Good morning. How are you doing today? Have you got your cup of tea? It's a bit chilly, isn't it? Um, so that I just plonked the bed down here. Not really sure where I was going to put it, but hmm, I might, I might, um, don't know. Is that going to be the living room here? Yeah, that looks like a living room space. Um, well, this this is open. Oh yes, yes. Have a good, have a good meeting. I hope you have a nice time out there. No, that's fine. I'm only going to be doing a couple of hours today, anyway. Um, I'm thinking, so we've got another view into the centre of Sanctuary, there's the pub, <laughs> there's the two flags, so we've got a couple of balconies, I'm just wondering where to put the bed, it was a nice view a minute ago, now it's gone echoing the real life weather outside my window. Um. I suppose I could I could block this off. Um Yeah, I hope the <laughs> the in real life rain will hold off too. Um I'm not quite sure what I want this to look like cuz I've got the bathroom the way out there. The bedroom could be close to the bathroom, I suppose. I like it open. I think I'm going to stick the bed around the corner here. Where it's cosy. Um, I think we're going to go a little open plan with this one. A little. Uh, maybe
maybe I can put some kind of furniture there. Let's move the candles as well. <coughs> can I put candles on top of a... Oh, it won't let me. No, that's a shame. Um, what about if I make a rug? I don't think the rug would sit on the wall either, but <laughs> I want to find out. See what, what it'll do for me. See, because that will move the candles, but it just... No, it wants a floor. I mean, I suppose I could put a floor piece on top of there. I could actually. Let's try that. Um, no, I want the barn pieces. That's what I want. Because we have the little half that we have the little half floors. Was that? Oh, that was warehouse. Doesn't matter, does it? I think. Yay! It'll go. Except which way around has that gone? Ah, <laughs> that's gone above the bed! No, 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 not that way around. Oh, of course it wants to be inside. Alright, alright. Yeah, we have to fudge this. We have to do the build order thing. Hopefully that'll go. It might go the other side of that might. Oh, it will go that way around. Ah! I want you to go... Uh, okay. Oh! Nearly! There! Yes! Yes! That's exactly where I want you to be. And I don't want this one, so I'm going to have to store that floor. Make sure I can still get downstairs without bopping my head. Yep. That is good. Um, I think I'll leave that there. I don't want to put anything else here but that's good as a little nook to stuff things away and that means I can put my candle on the floor on top doesn't it <laughs> come on okay that's not the rug's not straight but I don't care because the candles are on the corner where I wanted them to be Okay, um, now a piece of furniture for that bit, just to block it up a little. And I will, do you know what, I'll hang a light or two, just so when I do run the power here we've got something to go by. Um, oh, yeah, just studio apartment style this. Oh, it's not in the middle! <laughs> <laughs> Just over a bit. There we go. It's like an old barn conversion, except it's it's a barn to start with. Um, yeah, the power's going to come later. We'll figure that out in a bit. Right now I need a tall unit of some sort. I could have the fancy bureau. Actually, let's make a fancy bureau. I'm going to put these in different places in a minute. Bookshelf. Tall bookshelf. This is, after all, a school. So let's have the bookshelf there and the bureau next to it. Maybe not quite so much next to it. There we go. Um, how to make this a little more private. That's not very 
tall. <laughs> That's enormous. And it's very much a shop shelf as well. I don't really like the look of that there. Um, a little filing cabinet maybe? Or do I want something taller? Do I actually want a, a piece of wall there, in fact? I could try... I suppose I could actually put a door in, but oh, I mean that does that clips there like that. I could actually put a door. Don't know. Um. Or just one of those. I've got one anyway, let's try it. So I can have this massive big barn door to fit in there if I wanted. Which way round is it? Not that one. Oh, that won't go because of the wall there, I think. Just getting stuck on the bed here. No, I don't think I have to worry about the barn doors. And then they're not going to go. That's okay, it was just a piece of wall. Oh, that's also, there's a gap. <laughs> Ew, there's a gap. Well. Okay, how about. I thought it would be weird hanging out like that. We've got these slightly skanky walls. Not the kind of build quality that Vincent uh, approves of. <laughs> Not really. Um, well maybe I just do put a solid wall behind there anyway. Maybe the furniture idea wasn't so good. Oh, I could do a half a wall I suppose. How did they group these things together? Let's move the furniture for a minute. Uh, see, I could do, I could do that. Yes, clip on there. I could do that. So we've still got the light coming over the top, which is quite nice and airy. But we've divided the room up a bit. Um, do I actually do I actually want a door there? I mean that's okay, but it's still not massively private. Then again I don't know, I suppose I suppose the open plan is alright. Choice is choice, eh? You're not gonna have much privacy anyway. <laughs> um, no, I think this is going to gonna be nice and open. Alright, so let's line my bureau up there and the bookcase can still go in the corner. Where do I put my bureau? Do I put that in the corner instead? No, I don't. Choices, choices. Oh, I could do two of those actually. Where is my furniture? Uh, shelves, yes. Uh, 
Desk fans! Oh, I could do a ceiling fan. That's a good idea. <laughs> yes, we have to have a ceiling fan. It also does... It also does light. And it does need a lot of space. There we go. Ceiling fan. Should be alright if I stick it in the middle there. In which case... Let's shift this light bulb. Because that's going to be rather unnecessary just there. Maybe better over the stairs. Yeah. Come on. Are you... Wait. Finding out where things are actually positioned is a little difficult sometimes. Let's try that there. Alright, I should really get some power to this building. So let's do... Oh, can't do it. Connectors. Right downstairs. This is the nursery. This is the classroom. Um... Coat hooks. So we should have an easy time getting power from the generator. There's a light right there, so that's that's good because it's nearby. If I stick one in the ground here. Oh, I was going to show Miss Vixen. I don't know if Vixen's going to turn up. Um, I might leave it a bit, but I can do a street lamp. Maybe I'll put it here. <clears throat> Let's just get one ready on the verge. I'll put the power connector there so I don't forget. Um, and actually build the street lamp but not connect it. And I will show people how to, hopefully, how to actually run a wire into a street lamp without you seeing the wire. Um, I hardly ever use those, they're quite cool. Maybe I could use them upstairs in the school. Another schoolmaster's building. Um, these are cool too. <laughs> Right, which street lamp am I looking for? I could do a, bit, a big street lamp like that. I'm not sure where that normally connects. Um, so these are these are Nuka World ones. Name the street lamp lighting with a light face. <laughs> oh! Name generator? Okay. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. Why did I not know that was a thing? I think that must be one of Twitch's... Uh... What did I... I must have ticked it at some point. Uh... <laughs> it is now lighting with light face. Do, do I have to write a little plaque and everything? <laughs> what do you think? Do you want me to write a plaque? What am I looking for? Alright, we've got a regular street light who's... whose power is up there. Name it if I can. All right. Well, we've got. Do you know, I might just, I might just stick with these because, well, the power conduit is right on top of these anyway. So, all right, this one's lighted with light face with a little UFO lump on top. I like that. Um, I won't join it up just yet because, I'm, like I say, I'm waiting to see if Vixen's available to join. If not, I will do it anyway and then um, clip it and then I will share it with her. <laughs> Black. Um, what am I going to use for the plaque now? 
Oh, good grief. Can I can I put the plaque like around the side? Or can I just write it here and put an arrow? Is that okay? Cuz I've got something there and it won't disrupt too much. Except you'll see it from Vincent's house. Oh no. <laughs> what shall I do? Or maybe mm, Maybe I could put it there so Vincent's not necessarily looking at it. I was going to do a concrete post, but then that might look a bit like a headstone. <laughs> I do that. Here lies Lighty McLight face. <laughs> what do you think? Concrete or wood? Because I could just... I'm going to put it against the fence here. So it's a bit more... A little bit more subtle. Um... That's a bit crappy. Wood. Is that okay? That one? Let's do that one. Alright. Oh, good grief. That's Lighty McLightface. That's a lot of... Uh, that's a lot of letters. <laughs> Nothing smaller. Oh, okay. Smaller. Um. Yeah, there's uh, panels that stand up. Well, I could I could do a a low down one. I could do a barn half wall. How's this one? That's better, isn't it? Can I not just name it in my inventory like you rename a weapon? No. No, no, no. You can only do that with weapons. No, I have to put... Uh, there we go. There's the sign. That's going to be the sign for Lighty McLightface. Right here. Um. My brain. Come on. I need the uh, lettering, which will be in wall decorations. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna do it in massive um neons. Lighty work light face. I will do an arrow though. Canon law is it's the first lamp to be powered by fusion. <laughs> it, it's not actually, but we're going to say it's this one. Or it's like from a museum somewhere. <laughs> Is that what it's from? Um, I'm just trying to make life easy on myself a bit by not scrolling across the inventory backwards and forwards except I need a C there don't I now is it is it muck as in MC what did you write yeah MC right so that's all going to be one word um <laughs> A 
There you go. Lighty McLight face. And we shall put a... Where is it going to be? Use it under power. Yes. Got that one. <laughs> have we got that one? No, I have to point it out, don't I? It has to go over there. Lighty McLight face is over there. How's that? It it will also have to be lit, of course. Um <laughs> I can eat dog meat. Hello boy. How are you doing? You good? He says, Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. What are you doing? Uh we're trying to find some power. Power connectors again. These um Well, if I put one down down here, it'll probably be enough. Actually, where can I snuggle it away? It should be close enough, maybe around here. I should do the trick there, unless I want it. Yeah, that might be handy. Right, uh, now I need to find a ground power conduit. Which isn't that one. I've kind of hidden a lot of my power conduits. Oh, there is one there. Okay. Right. That still needs that still needs to be a low down one so it doesn't show. Oh, it won't go very close to the wall. Okay. All right. All right. Go, go close to that wall, that'll be fine. Hopefully. Do, 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 do. Hopefully it won't poke through the garden too much. Let's see. Did that light up? Why? It didn't light up. Why not? Hang on, maybe sometimes. Oh, no. Really? Seriously? There's no power there? Is there no power to this conduit? Oh, I might have put a dead conduit in there. Hang on. Take this out to the power station. Uh, somehow. Ah, uh, there's one. Okay, that's going into the ground. That's no good. Well, maybe I can. Does that make a big mess inside? No, no, that's good. Okay, that's fine. So now, things look very bright in there suddenly. That's still not lit. Why are you not lit? Oh. I had to replace it, that's why. I had to switch it on. There you go! Lighty McLight face! Which is not lit yet. <laughs> there you go, Arcane. Are you happy? Is that good? <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's have a look inside, because I've now switched on power where I didn't have power before. Oh, she's Duncan's little bedroom. Um Yeah, no I think did I not have light in there before? Well the kitchen might actually be a bit brighter than it was. Which is fine. Okay, well since it's dark outside, I think I'm gonna let Vin go to bed for a bit. 
Close the door behind you, Mac. 8.19pm. Oh. Alright, it is getting dark. Let's, let's sleep for eight hours. And then we'll do something else. Quick shout out to some new followers. BDV the Moose. Sorry, BDVD the Moose. Or is that Budavid? I'm not quite sure how to say people's names sometimes. And um, Ball underscore Zax. Haha. <laughs> Thank you for the follows. One day I'm going to come across a name that, that I just can't say out loud, I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, come on then. What line have you got for me? Ready to face the day? Yes. Did you go to sleep in your armor? I can't have been comfortable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Excuse me. He just did. He just did like blue steel at me. Max version of blue steel. All right. Well, it's still not very light. I love the cosy little living room. I'm so happy with how this turned out. This little fireplace. And it's <coughs> Institute Flowers. There should be a little wooden soldier in there, but I accidentally scrapped it. Don't tell Mac. Um, oh, and the kettle, uh, the coffee pot, which never will ever stand up on its own even though I keep trying to oh, hang on <laughs> if I just drop it sometimes sometimes if you look at things from a different angle oh, I might have some more luck with this gently 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 <laughs> oh you stupid coffee pot <laughs> how about if I into build mode. How about then? Will you will you jump up to attention? Oh, you silly coffee pot! Some things, right? Some things will naturally write themselves when you do that. But this darn coffee pot never wants to stay. Stay. Right. <clears throat> Good morning, Kiri. Good morning, Sanctuary Hills. Good morning, Jun, who is armed up to the eyeballs. And armoured, by the way. Um, it's still a little early, and we need power to the school, so let's try getting some lighting in here. So since we've got a working power conduit there... Where did I put one? Did I put one down... Here, right. So I should be able to run a wire. Maybe underneath that. Well, okay, so I can't get at the wire that's there. I'm going to do another conduit. Um, come on. You can let me put you somewhere. There you go. That'll do it. <clears throat> Cross to there? No, too low. How about that? Mm, uh, yes. All right. There should be a caution wire thing over here or something. Um, maybe I can. Maybe I can hide that somehow. Because this is a dead end. You can't get through to the hedge. You can only get through to Mac and Vin's back garden. Um, and I should have put a gate in for Sean to use at the back of the fence there. Right, I'll sort this out another time. This one I'm just going to block off, I think. I might just put some plants there. Um, but since we've got this wire here, we should be able to 
do the come on give me the wire glitch thank you and then if I've got that one there that is all powered and then I can put another conduit up the top somewhere can I there we go um where do I want it Ooh, am I going to take it around the corner? Am I going to? I think I need to have it just. Can I do it inside? Would it go through? I don't think it. I'm not sure if it will go through. If that's really awkward. <laughs> if I put it on the wall. Let's push this out a bit. Will it go in there for me? Well, it will go at a weird angle, so I'll take it. Can I then pass the wire through? No, you can't. <sighs> in which case, there's no point. Unless, oh, actually. All right, new plan. Um, I end up making loads of conduits. It doesn't matter. I put one there. This one should go. Yes. Right. Now, wire glitch to get it to the top floor. Yes. Now that passes through. When you do the wire glitch, it's happy. So, how much lighting has that given us? Because I don't bother putting switches and I just I just light places. <laughs> That's it. Right, that is lit. This is not, so I have to run more conduits along the wall from here. Um I could do I could do these metal conduits. Uh but they do take up a lot of steel. So if you want a, a pipe system that looks more like a more like plumbing to be honest <laughs> um you can you can do that that's interesting that it went green there i didn't i thought it thought it had to be sitting on something but you've got all these options that's a power radiator so anything within a certain radius of this little do dad I have a blatant disregard for switches yes I mean I could put them in but it's just it's just more material I don't generally bother and we're fusion powered you know we don't have to worry about running out of energy <laughs> um, although fusion cores run out I I don't know where the logic is there. I could put a switch in if you'd like. I could do. I could uh, put a switch in for the rest of the house. Maybe just leave leave that one above the stairs constantly on. And I could put a little I said a little switch. I could put the switch box here. How's that? Would that would that make you happy, Matt? <laughs> I put a switch there. So it's two steel, one copper, one rubber. Oh, thank you. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it for you. Arg. No. It's it's too high up. This is too high up. Can I move this? Probably not. Now I've done the wire glitch. It's like. Uh -uh. This has to be lower. That can be at a reasonable human size height. Even then? Really? Hang on a minute. I might have to rewire glitch this thing because if. Right. 
Oh, it reaches there. I tell you what, I can attach it and then you can grab this and you can move it and then you'll see where it goes red. It doesn't want to be too far away. It likes being close. <laughs> so that's just stretching the wire too far, apparently. Oh! We had a green... Oh, uh... That... Oh, come on. Seriously, you go. You want green? There, right. That's that's reasonable. Um, <clears throat> but then to get power across to this, and well, we're going to need something in the bathroom too, aren't we? What light should we put in the bathroom? Um. Industrial wall light? No, let's have something cosier. Oh, let's use that uh, floor standing lamp. That was rather pleasant, I thought. <clears throat> Where do we want it? In the corner here? No, that's kind of in the way. And I bet it won't sit on there, will it? No. That would have been cool if that could sit on there. I think that would be cool if it sits on there. So we've got to go and do the thing. The thing with the post. Oop. Just need some ground. Um, I should probably put... A light connector thing. Where am I going to do it? Oh, I can maybe stick one on the corner. There we go. And if I am lucky... Oh, that that's going to need something to take it up higher. That's going to need something on the roof again, so... Maybe I could put it on the inside. Wire glitch it to the inside of that, then that would be nice and high. <coughs> Let's try this. Right, because normally you can't pass a wire through a wall. Just it doesn't like it. But if I'm lucky, <laughs> yay! Do the wire glitch. Go through the wall. Ta da! And then, if I'm lucky again, now is that going to be saggy if I take it all the way to the corner? Let's have a look. It might be saggy, it might be fine. Will it caught it? Well, it goes along the wall, that's fine. It doesn't interfere with the door, that's good. <coughs> see see what I mean about saggy? <laughs> they naturally hang. Um, they don't go in an absolutely straight line. Okay, Arcane, thank you very much. Thank you for lighting my light face. <laughs> Alright, I can I can live with that, That's that's fine. That's good. And it also means that hopefully we should be able to have some power in the bathroom. I'm going to put another connector on the outside. Um, if I want it to definitely go across the doorway. Do I have enough stuff? Yes, I do. Yeah, I'll put it there. So then I can connect these normally and it goes across the top, that's fine. Um, I'm not sure if I need to put it through any further. I will take it to the corner actually just so that 
I've got something over here to connect to if I need to. Now that's probably a bit far away. No, it isn't. It's fine. All right, so that's just basically about two panels. That stretches naturally, so that's good. Um, and then to get that bathroom light in, oh, this is going to be so nice when it's got pictures and pot plants and a bit more furniture. Before I do anything else, I'm going to save. And before I do anything else after I've saved, I have to go for a little break. <laughs> so I know it's got auto save on there, but I'd like to be sure. So excuse me, guys, while I'm have to go for a little comfort break. I'm just going to stick a one minute advert on. I will be right back. Right, sorry, I had to wait a bit for my hot water to run. My hands are freezing cold. Right. Um, so, the lamp. And the post. Oh dear. I've just realised in this... Um, school backyard I've just realized what these are oh dear <laughs> there's a couple of graves in the backyard <laughs> no I'm gonna have to do something about that we're gonna have to just cover that up a little um oh dear Right, um, it'll be fine. I, I I can think of a couple of things to put over the top of that. But that's that's a bit macabre. Oh well. The school is looking nice though. <laughs> um, I've just realised what that little thing is. That's the toilet tank. <laughs> it's just poking through the wall a bit, but that's fine. That's okay. Um... Concrete. Uh, concrete, yes. Concrete post. Oh, I've got quite a lot of concrete bits. In storage. Okay. I'm not quite sure what I was going to build with those, but... Hmm. 
Right, so that's going to be over the sink. That needs to be... Oh yeah, what height? Ah, oh, dang it, that's a good point. What height? I think I might need to just put something for reference. Um, because it was one of those counters, wasn't it? Was it under tables? I'm sure if I build another one I can find a use for it. At some point I'm going to have to go through all the build tabs in Sanctuary Hills because I've built things and stored them but they still take up space in your size meter if you like. Um, yeah there we go. So if it's going to be that high Flat bit of ground, let's do it here. Um, yeah, I just need to sink. How am I going to do this? <laughs> Hang on. Um, I'm confusing myself a bit here. Alright, so I want to know where the top of that thing is compared to the lamp. So what if I what if I grab this first and sink this into the ground? Maybe and then put the lamp on top of that. I don't wanna I don't wanna get all the stuff but uh No, because the bottom of that post is where the bottom of the unit is. So if I leave the post there, now I can store that, because I've figured out the height, hopefully. And then I can probably get these, yes I can, and then that'll be pretty much on top of the counter, hopefully. Let's see if this works. And it does light up. Oh, okay. It's uh, it's not quite. It needs to be down a bit. Um. So the post needs to be up. All right. I've just circled out of that to cancel. So the post needs to actually be up a bit. Like how much? I'll we'll try that. Yeah, that looks about right. Except have I got the post too close to the lamp now so that it won't <laughs> go on there. ah Oh no that'll be that'll be okay if I do it. Um there. Yeah. Yes Yes, there we go, and it's lit over the sink. Very nice. Would be nicer in the middle, but that'll do. I'm I'm happy enough with that. Okay, I wanted to put something at the back of the sink here, but I'm not quite sure what would go. Um, I don't know if a picture would go over the back. Would it let me do that? With a <laughs> you want a painting? Here, have one in your face. Um, because these might only basically clip onto walls. Oh, I say, and then it kind of sort of goes onto the counter a bit ish. And then it doesn't go there and it goes oddly. Hmm. 
the, the behaviour of these paintings is something I haven't figured out. Because sometimes they go all wangy and wonky and sideways and I don't quite know what they are attaching themselves to. I really wanted... I just wanted that to be there. <laughs> no, I think I might have to use a piece of furniture instead to cover up the back of that sink. Um, unless I, oh, a poster, a poster maybe. Hmm. I've got these powered ones, which also don't seem to want to go. How about the ones with the lights on? Over the top. I mean, that's not the one I want, but I, I'm just experimenting to see if it'll clip on. But it doesn't seem to want to. So now let's try something different. Signs. <laughs> Notice. Wash your hands. <laughs> oh, ha <laughs> ha! That did actually sort of just for a second. It did actually cover. Oh, that's nice! That covers the the um, the back of the sink. I could just get this to straighten up. Hey! <laughs> it just covers the back of the sink perfectly! Okay, that's fun. Um... Because, I mean, this is where, you know, where the school teacher lives, after all. What else could we put in a bathroom? Yeah, they could have a clock. Oh, they could have some, they could have some jolly Far Harbour decorations. If the things will fit anywhere. Oh, there we go. Nautical theme to the bathroom, anyone? Brightens the place up a bit. Yeah, there we go. Well, okay, maybe not hanging in the toilet. That I didn't realise that was going to be so low. <laughs> I'll put it on this wall instead because uh, that was a bit ridiculous. There we go. Um. <laughs> secret children of atom worshipper no let's not do that or rather secret atom worshipper <laughs> the ammo on the toilet <laughs> sorry chems no 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 food definitely not food no <laughs> no 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 <laughs> Plumbing. Plumbing. No, no, no. It's a bit silly. Hang on. Um. The old books. I could put that sign. Actually, that should go downstairs in the school. I wonder if it will. Oh, it will. Can I get this sign to go straight? Yes. Oh, did you see that? It was just perfect there. Book sign on the bookcase. Yes, there are shelves behind the sign, but that's fine. They're little tiny tots they can't reach. Um, also, teacher wants a clock on the wall. Sign of miscellaneous. Um, so the teacher can see the time but the, the kids aren't watching the clock <laughs> um, 
Uh, canteen machine. I could put an Eatertronic in, couldn't I? For the dinner ladies. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Oh, it's a nice, quite shiny one. Um, so maybe I should put some little like lunch tables in there. Well, like a, like a serving table or something. So it's going to be its own self-contained little place. Oh, now kind of tempted to put the statues in, but Vin really doesn't like vault -Tec, so it wouldn't really be appropriate. Um, oh, is there a classroom sign? <gasps> classroom sign! Yes! Let's put that above the wall, above the door there. Yay! Um, don't need any of those. Don't need any of those. Um, ah, yeah, for the back, <laughs> we we need to deal with this situation. Um, Racing cars. Yes, I am going to put racing cars over the tops of the graves. <laughs> I am so sorry. We've got to cover them up somehow. It just it just doesn't seem right otherwise. Uh that's maybe there. Can I sink those a little bit or is that okay? No, it's not okay. <laughs> it's not okay. I want to get rid of that. I don't want to be able to see that at all. Oh dear. I've completely forgotten that about this particular plot. Yeah, let's just put those on the ground there like that so they're uh, better it's better yeah let's forget those were there um what else there's some un uh, there's some other fun stuff in the nuka world tab so we've got You got these gumdrops. Actually, the gumdrops I was going to put in the nursery. They're pretty big, though. Oh, I'll put one or two, so it's like uh, like teachers' stools or something. Maybe one there as well. There we go. Um okay giant giant lollipops really they're huge aren't they a big blob of ice cream again that's kind of cruel because there's no ice cream anymore in the world as far as i know so no i'm not going to put that there um our oh, little cactus though that's so cute Let's put cactus around here. This is danger. Danger! Don't go near the cactus! Where it just so happens that the uh, machine turret is as well. Danger! Um, oh, we got a little... 
little cowboy cutouts. Yeah, not drink, thank you. A little pickaxe peat. <laughs> Something like that. Nope. Oh, I could put some cowboys in there. Hiding in the cactus. When you go in there? Yeah. I saw you go green. Do, do that again. Do that again. Where were you that you went green? Oh. Like just for a split second it went green. There. Don't you kids go near these. Um. Don't get the Brahmin in there. <laughs> yeah, we can have him as well. There we go. They're, they're protecting the gun turret. Turret? Turret? There. Um, in a fun way. And, uh. Yeah, like kids can't get in there. Ooh, that fence is a bit low. <laughs> I think I've found a kiddie escape point. Oh no! That's way too low. Um. I have to put something in there. No, what am I doing? Get off that. <laughs> Good point. A bear! Maybe a bit scary. Yeah, maybe those are all a bit scary. Gorilla. Oh. Nah. Too scary. Um, the bottles are massive. Um, what else was... Oh, just a... Uh, bottle and cappy! Hey, kids! Yeah, I can go there. Right. Again! Broken fence outside the green zone. I can't even pick this up. That's infuriating, really. Um, ooh. That's very long to have in the kids' place. Uh <laughs> Yeah, maybe it's a little bit big. Hmm. What have we got in Galactic Zone? Oh, we've got a spaceship! 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 Sorry, that's a Lego movie. <laughs> yeah, let's have a rocket. I can climb all over that. I do still feel like I want more fencing. <laughs> wow, look at the state of this. It's terrible. Um maybe I should just maybe I should stick some concrete along there. For the kids' safety if nothing else. I think I will actually. I don't know why they put this fence just the other side. I think that Surely that must be a mistake, because it's really infuriating. I think someone just didn't line something up properly. Um, let's try that. Maybe lift it a little bit more. Oh. Now this concrete should clip together. And isn't doing. Why? Probably these. Alright, let's just get rid of those all together because they're a bit rubbish. Can I get rid of this one? Wow, 
Okay, that fence post lets me grab it, but this bit doesn't. It's just outside. So if I grab that, is it going to grab? No, that just stays put and I can't get it at all. <sighs> Oh, and that concrete isn't going through the wood post there. There we go. Yeah, that'll do. Then I can put the uh, wooden post back into that corner there. So we've just got... Of a wall. I could make that wall higher actually and then uh, they could have a like a ball hoop there or something actually yeah let's move the rocket let's move the rocket to the back there um make him a little a little basketball court since I've got all this concrete here anyway We've got a hoop. Oh, do you know there's a hoop with a switch, isn't there? That I have never actually played with before. Um, I'm just wondering if I shouldn't put... That might get in the way of things, but... Alright, it clips there. I kind of want it to clip down. Oh, it will. It will. And <laughs> Cappy's emerging. That's actually quite cool. I quite like that. He's peeking out of the wall. Peek a boo. That's kind of cute. Um, yeah, in power, there was a basketball hoop with a switch, I think. Was it in miscellaneous? Hoop switch. Switches power on briefly when triggered. So if you manage to throw the ball in there, it will switch something on. <laughs> I need some power first. Um, I've honestly never ever tried to use this. Let's put it more in the middle, thank you. So I know the building's kind of in the way there. Maybe I should uh maybe I should line it up in that here in that's better, actually. We don't want it too high, do we? Because they're kids, so let's put it down a bit. <coughs> still pretty high up for them. Um, so it just needs power. Alright, and we've got power at the front over there, so we want another conduit probably at the bottom. Or I could run it to the back. Where's my power going to? This is outside. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a shame there's a hedge right there. I could have done with a a walkway through, and you can't scrap that hedge. So I have to go through the school. Um, I'm just thinking about where my power lines are going to go. And what's it going to attach to? Well, if I put one on the ground again... Alright. So 
so we just need to put power to this conduit here which I can do if I walk through here do, 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 do. <coughs> it's taking shape I should be able to use this conduit here um There we go. Okay, so that... Oh, look, there's a little red light there. Okay, so do I not actually need to get a basketball and throw it through? I do, don't I? <laughs> I need a basketball. Do I have one? There's some stuff in this desk. There's a baseball. There's a basketball, yes! Okay. Um, so we have to put the basketball on the ground. We have to actually throw it. Come here. I have to actually try and get it. I'm going to do it like the easy way. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, so a little. Why have you? Oh, God, come back. Catch it, bottle. Catch it, Cappy. Thank you. Well, that's quite good actually. It rolls over there, and bottle and Cappy catch it for you. So you can play. No, it bounced. Come here. Come here. No, I picked it up. <laughs> so it's gone in my inventory instead. Um, so you get a little green light. I was wondering if you could do it so that it makes a noise as well. I don't know. At least you get a little green light. How would I make it make a noise? I don't... I don't think there is any way to do that. Hmm. Unless you connect this wire up to a siren or something. Let's, let's have a look. I don't play with the electronic bits in this. Um, and there are a lot of options. You got a pitching machine. <laughs> you got a junk mortar. You got a firework mortar, angled one. Um, oh, that's another hoop switch. It's just without the stand. Powered speaker. Pulse vibrator. Pulse vibrator. Sine square. Triangle. Blip. Explosions. <laughs> And percussion, um, a blip or a or a triangle. Ting ting. Let's try a triangle. All right. So I'm going to wire instead of that to there. I'm going to wire uh, this to there. And then this to there. That's on all the time. Sure, I thought I said that was a triangle. It's not a triangle, that's a annoying buzz. Um Oh wait, so that doesn't have power if it's on there. And then Yee, this should do it. This should do it, I think. It's not terribly loud, but let's try this again. So it should buzz as well as... Yay! Yahoo! I've done a thing! I've done a thing! <laughs> oh, sweet! Well, that, that could stay there, actually. Look after that forest bottle, Cappy. They're going to need their basketball. They probably want a 
container or something to put basketballs in. But yay, it makes a noise. It makes a noise when you do it. We could try swapping this out as well. I know. Let's let's just make a bunch of them for a for a laugh. And swap the wires. So that one was the triangle. Where was it? Which didn't sound like a triangle at all. Um Oh we can only make three. Oh it's wood I'm short of now. Okay. Oh, is it triangle wave as opposed to a ting? I thought it was going to be a ting. Plays a musical tone. Use a connected terminal to change the pitch. Oh wow, you could do so much with this stuff. I never bother playing with all the electronic stuff in this. Um. Maybe I should. I, I need to watch some school zone videos about these things because I haven't used this a lot and I need to learn. I don't want to connect anything to a terminal, let's just do... Oh, all of these you can change the pitch. Let's put the blip one there instead. I don't know if it would play both of them, if I connect both of them up. Is it going to do both at the same time? Yes! Blip blip! It does! That's quite cute. Oh, I thought, what do you think, Greedy? Is that good? Let's talk hey. to you. Use that ammo. You, you've got really itchy feet, haven't you, chum? <laughs> what, me? Your thoughts? Anytime you want me to carry some of that valuable gear you're lugging, you just, uh, you just let me know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, seriously, though. Your thoughts? It's getting late. Maybe we should look for shelter. Like a house over there. Nothing else I needed. <laughs> Yeah, let's go. Let's go to our house, which is right next door. You're right; it is getting dark, though. Um, but I could check on my lighting situation, or we could even just sleep here. Right. So that one's lit. That one's not. Did I switch the switch on? Is it not working? Or hey, ah, oh, cheers, Vanya. Thank you very much. Right. I'm just wondering why that light isn't on. Hang on though, no the power is going through because this one is on. So the power is going through all the way to here. It's just not going to this side of the building. <laughs> right, so we need more connectors. Oh, up and over the top. Yeah, let's do that. Building's fun in this game. It's a nice contrast to the, the frantic running around shooting things as well. If you just want to chill. And when you know some uh, exploits, it's a lot more relaxing than if you don't. <laughs> it uh, can be a little bit stressful building when you don't know the tricks. Because it doesn't always do what you want it to do. Right, yes, let's put power up. Up and along, I think. Oh, PC, you just use mods. Yes, well... Like I say, I have used a few mods on the PlayStation. It just didn't go too well one day. <laughs> so we don't use mods anymore. And actually it was mostly... Um, sorry to say, the official Creation Club stuff rather than... any of the very few... Uh, community modders stuff. Because I had a couple of good ones. I had one that got rid of all the leaves and the floors in Sanctuary and just uh, 
Yeah, the scrap anything stuff was useful. Now that's going now, good. Oh, and it's banging against what? What are you banging against? Oh, I see, I see, okay. I put it on a slope, it doesn't want to be on a slope. I know there's a... <laughs> I might have to move this as well. Would it be happy there? Actually, yes, that's low enough that it looks like it's fine. In which case, that'll do. Right, we do need some more lighting over here. Um, we can have some fancy lamps. Because this, this area, not that one, <laughs> this area is going to be the sitting room, really. It's all very, very open plan. Um, there are some really funky standard lamps here. Now oh, the orange ones are quite nice. I'll put that one on the corner. Or in the corner. A couple actually. And maybe a small raised one over here somewhere. Next to the stereo. There we go. Lovely. Um, this will have a door on it at some point. Again, I need a, some sort of little light to go there. Have a little button light on the floor. Do they go on to... Uh, I don't think they do go on to units. They are floor lamps. Very small kind of watch your step ones. <laughs> oh, it's like tiny. Tiny weeny. Um, no, I don't want that there, actually. It's a bit redundant. Let's. Oh, I don't know. Where does this want to go? Because that's all nicely lit. I could put it. I could put it on the balcony outside, I suppose. Just like in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. So it just lights your way around the corner a bit. Um. Couple of those would be nice. Um, this is major is in the middle a bit better. There we go. I'm not too bad, thank you. I've been doing my physio, so I've been strengthening the muscles around my knees to try and keep my wobbly kneecaps in place. I'm going to go see the physio again tomorrow afternoon see how I've got on uh, yeah I'm okay I'm a, not very energetic today <laughs> but I am psyched up for Sunday for, for actually for May the whole of May raising money for the charity that's helped me I'm really looking forward to that um, Although I'm a bit nervous because I still haven't tried to put Fallout 76 disc in yet because I know the moment I do it'll say we've got two years worth of updates <laughs> two years worth of updates to catch up on and it'll probably take a couple of hours at least to catch everything up um, and then I'm going to do I'm just going to switch it on for myself offline just to check that everything's fine um, I'm going to get Fallout first so that I can have a private server um, so I'll treat myself to that for a month 
and yeah I just want to make sure everything's working okay <laughs> wish me luck please and then on next Sunday it will be just me doing a solo I won't go very far I'll just probably bimble around my camp hopefully is the plan introduce Ricky just remind myself of what's what um, and just stick to the stick to the locale thank you <laughs> fingers toes eyes arms legs yeah cross everything you can <laughs> that will help thank you um right i really like this light and i feel like it needs to go somewhere but <sighs> do i get rid of that i don't know i kind of like that light as well oh radstorm <laughs> yeah, the school? No, it's a bit more of a home lamp, isn't it, really? It's definitely. Do I need any more light in here? I mean, it's kind of cosy. I think I don't, actually. Let's put some furniture in. Right. Uh. Vincent has been to Vault 88 where they had truckloads of unused stuff. What am I missing? Oh, I'm going to need some wood. Yeah, I was going to say there's some new stuff on this tab. Um, yeah, I know Codsworth. So we've got some old scrappy furniture. You can't really see very well. There you go. That's all scrappy. But I thought I might as well use the shiny new stuff straight out of the packaging. We've got colourful chairs. We've got the... Do I have a red one of that? Yes, I do. Yeah, this would be quite nice. It doesn't take any wood either. I think the teacher's uh, into his, all their modern deco in here, so let's use this one. Um, put a little table there. Uh, do I want to sort of make a little corner, that's nice. It's a very open plan. Um, That's good. Maybe we can put a... Do we have a chair version of that? Or is it... Why have they mixed things up? We've got like... There's the red long sofa. There's the blue small chair. <laughs> Why? Why have they mixed things up? They're the Ottoman. Yeah, we want an Ottoman. Um, of course, we want a bit of a table. Maybe I'll put the Ottoman here so you can get at it if you need it. <clears throat> oh, we've always been in school hence why this build is so cool oh thank you well you know with Duncan having moved back here since technically he's well enough now <clears throat> he's very shy so you won't see Duncan <laughs> I wish they'd put him in the game. Um, he does have a nice bedroom though. Did you see Duncan's bedroom? I'd love to show it off if you didn't. Um, yeah, let's face that. Oh, let's go to Vincent's house in a second. Let me just stick a table in here. It's night time anyway. He needs to go home and get some rest. Um, I want a nice table. I don't have a lot of wood though. I might actually have to wait. Unless I've got something in stock. Some of these things I have just stored. Oh, see that kind of table would be nice here. It'd be perfect. I just don't have enough wood. No, okay. I need to go shopping. Right, so yeah, this is taking shape nicely. There's still loads to do. I haven't got to put it up. But Vincent and Max house is this one here. Right next door. Um I re-roofed it and then some. <laughs> a bit bonkers. 
So welcome to Vincent's house. Here's Vincent. There he is. And his husband McCready. Hey, come on in. Come on in, make yourself a home. We've got a very comfy living room here. Nice fireplace. We've got a little dining room. The coffee pot is still standing, yes. Um Eddie Reagan. <laughs> toolbox. I left the toolbox there because I was thinking I might be able to use it, but I don't know. I might take it out and rebuild it because it's in a bit of a weird position. It's got squished by the flooring. The new flooring I put in. Um, little kitchen. Vincent's a very good cook. And if he needs more space, I don't have a console on console, right? What do you mean? What do you mean console on console? I'm not quite sure. Uh, this is all on PlayStation 4. Um, which I'm streaming through, so of course, you know, they're, they're a couple of geeks, so they love Grognak and the Silver Shroud. Cowboy films. And where you open the CK console? I have no idea. No, I, I honestly don't know what you mean. Vanya, it's probably a PC thing, <laughs> isn't it? No? I don't know. Anyway, this is Vincent and Mac's bedroom. I squished the two beds together. For some reason, they've only got one pillow at the moment. Um, he's got his little stash of various things, including um, Kellogg's pistols in there. And the stogie. He likes his stogies. The ways of waffles in there too. So there's special stuff. Oh, creation kit. All the creation engine have command consoles on PC. You open with can I execute prompts like no, no, nothing, nothing like that on console. Nope. This is all placed by hand. Anyway, this is Duncan's room. In here. So he's got his giddy up buttercup. He's got his little squirter and his lunchbox. His puppy picture. And he's collecting some toys. So we've got some model robots. New world lunchbox, a couple of cars. Zeta Invaders game. Yes, that's the mother icon, but it's um I kind of sank it. It didn't it didn't stay there. But I kind of sank it so it was like a half a bust. I meant it to be of of his mum really, but it didn't really work. <laughs> so let's just pretend that's what it is. And of course, Mr. Huggy. Don't ask me why the teddy bear's been stolen. That teddy needs a name, by the way, people. The teddy still doesn't have a name and it needs one. This is Mr. Huggy though. Let me just put a little bit of a light on. Mr. Huggy is a very special sloth. And in fact, are you wearing it, McCready? Where have you gone, mister? You in the bathroom? No? Night of the Fishman's Revenge. Oh, just a little note. This name above here, Carl Dixon, that's, uh, that's my other half, Bear Sheep's character. <laughs> he decided, he named his character Carl. Carl Summers actually is his real name. Dixon's his stage name, but he decided it would be funny if he was a pre-war actor. An actor. Um, Charles McHuggerton. Charles, Charles McHuggerton. <laughs> Charlie Bear. I like Charlie Bear. Okay, you are now Charlie Bear. Hey, there you are. You don't have your huggy armor on. Hang on, Mac. Hey. Do me a favor, yeah, put, you, you put your huggy yeah, armor on sure. for me, look. I'll trade with you. <laughs> Charlie B. <laughs> no, Charles McHuggerton doesn't bite. He hugs. Um, In fact, one of McCready's nicknames for Vincent is Huggy Bear, because he's just a big softie, really. Um... No, no, not my weapons. McCready's apparel. <gasps> no! Where's it gone? Nah! 
He's lost something important. Or it's in the workshop. This will never do. Well, I have a picture of it somewhere. I don't know the ref now. So <laughs> it's alright. Um. Ha! Huh. Where is your pack armor, Mac? I have to go look in the... I don't have to look in the workshop. I can just look in my cooker. Because <laughs> I store everything in my cooker. <laughs> I love that. You can get to all of your workshop stuff from any of the workstations. It's just it's magically there. Oh, please be there. Is it under P for pack? Maybe. He had the the leg piece with the the purple sloth on it. Oh no! Where's it gone? Oh, I might have left it at a different workshop. Hang on, let me go through this a bit slowly. Looking at the picture instead of the writing, because that sometimes makes a difference as to what I absorb. I can't seem to look at... Oh, there he is! Oh, he's strengthened improved pack stuff. Thank you. Good grief. I thought we'd lost him for a minute. Here's the other Mr. Huggy. It's the same one, apparently, according to Duncan. It's just a... Hey, Here you go. Something? So Duncan gives this to McCready to keep his dad safe when he's out and about. And you have to wear it, Mac. There we go. That's more like it. Look, isn't that cute? <laughs> go and eat. Good. <laughs> yeah. Look after yourself. Right. Oh, I just I just think that's adorable and I can't help but get Mac to wear that because it's just so cute. Right. Um I'm gonna hit a hard save. Actually, I'm gonna make sure they sleep so it's daytime. I know that'll give me an autosave, but I wanna make sure I've got this in the bag. Um Right, I'm only going to be streaming for another half an hour today, guys, because I I need it to be. Gotta be honest with you. Yeah. I feel more comfortable with a rocky ceiling above me. Rocky ceiling. I built you a whole I house. <laughs> Sleepy heads awake. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm. I don't have a great deal of energy today, and I have other things I need to do. So, uh, yeah, just a half hour more. There's um. kind of an easter egg um, well you can ask me about anything you see in the house things have meaning in this house M many things have meaning especially that and that because um, there's a whole load of backstory and I like to build it into my actual settlement right this still so much to do in Sanctuary but the school is looking good it needs to look more jolly though it looks a bit dull from the outside so how can we make it look happier and more welcoming let's have a look like I've said I don't like to use the vault tech stuff because Vincent doesn't like vault tech <coughs> excuse me um Hmm. Well, we definitely need some plants. I mean, I could just plant a load of meat fruit outside, but uh, save the potted plants for the indoors. I think I will. <coughs> Oh, that's growing through there anyway. Stick that one in the corner. Uh, yeah. Oh, I was going to do like kitchen tables, and I need some wood, of course. Hmm. 
but the tables I was thinking of were down here. Um, I think they're steel. Yeah, what like a little little cafeteria counter section. Not too big though. I don't want to make it an entire massive kitchen. Uh, just just somewhere that the kids couldn't eat. I wish those clipped together. Oh yeah, dinky counter as well. There we go. For the short ones. Got to cater for the short ones. Um, can I straighten that up a bit? Oh, I really want that to go next to each other, but it's not going to be a rug time. Good old rugs, let's have a uh, rubber floor mat. Since I've got one of those there anyway. shelves. The ones I'm thinking of. No, but that would be useful. <gasps> Maybe that's where the little lunch boxes should go. Oh, if they bring a lunch box they can put it on this shelf. Yes, we need. We've got some lunch boxes in here. We've got cafeteria trays. What's the point of picking up that junk? The point is decorating. That's the point. Um, I don't have lunch boxes in there. But I have some other things. So let's put down a coffee pot and a bucket. Oh, good. I've got loads of pre war money. I can go and buy plenty. Of wood, hopefully. So, a couple of cafeteria trays. <laughs> Coffee pot. Now, am I going to get a tray? Ah! Oh, <laughs> I didn't even go on the shelf. <laughs> Come here, coffee pot. Yeah, the angle that you're looking at it when you pick it up also makes a difference. Um, mop in the corner. Well, that's not very tidy, is it now? Whoa! Why do you do that? Oh, it's got something inside it. 
Oh, it just... Okay, yes, because it's... Because it's got two things that get confused, I think. Take that out of there first. Can I just put this the right way around? There we go. Good. Now can I maybe pick up the bop? <laughs> Decorating's a bit of a faff in this. If I just kind of push it into the corner. That's good, that's fine. Right. Um, would that fit on the shelf? Would you be so kind as to sit there nice? Or am I gonna have to? Oh, hey. oh yes, it's done it. That's good. All right, kettle. That looks like the kind that you need to put on a hot ring. What? Okay. okay I'll just use. Uh, I'll use build map. And possibly. Uh, I let go of it fast. Can I swivel it now? I can only go that way around. Alright. Alright. And go into build mode. Select it. Oh. Okay, it popped up onto the top shelf, but I don't mind that. Is that going to do the same thing? Yes. Fine. At least you're standing the right way round. That'll do. What about this bowl as well? Oh, don't freeze up on me. Okay. Okay, that's that's going on the top shelf too. All right. Uh, the teacher needs a chair. I hadn't realised I'd not given teacher a chair. How remiss of me. I think we might have to go get the wood though. I could I could use that one. I've already got one of those. Actually, yeah, let's let's use that as teacher's chair. That's fine. I haven't had any NPCs come in here yet, actually. I don't know if they will. Um, right, now might be a good opportunity to just explore what I've got in my tab, what I can use. So we've got some short tables, that's useful. So you're allowed to stand on this one if you're too short to get at the water fountain. Um, That might be a good idea to go in here somewhere, or along, along there. There we go. So the kids can have a few toys on there, I think. Uh, what else have I got saved? Little end table. Probably better upstairs. Okay, it calls itself kitchen table, but we can, we can just put. Uh, learning things on there. <laughs> um, resources. School resources. That's what I was trying to get at. Oh, good. Cabinet. That's useful. That can go here. That's the table I was thinking of making. And I only need steel, so let's put that along the back wall here. Really? There's not very much room to get by if it goes there. I'm going to build it anyway. But Squeeze. Well, no, it's fine. Didn't the lady will be all right. <laughs> well, if I straighten it up, there's a bit more room. 
In fact, if I do... Uh, that's a bit better. Okay. Yeah, that looks fine. I'm deliberately not putting a cooker in there. Um, it's just they have to bring their lunch boxes. School only provides so much. I should get a hot plate though. That's what I need, a hot plate to put in there. A little desk? That's quite a cute little desk as well. Maybe that's better upstairs. Or is it? Um, well we could have a little secretary thing. The other thing I could do is, if you go into defence, there is a guard post. Oh, I can't build it because I've got no wood. Um, there's this little security desk which would be adorable. Let's let's go find some wood. My, uh, hello friends, all right. My old friend Felix Archibald, who you might know as Vault Tech Rep. He should be working down here. Felix? Where are you, Felix? Really? You're not at work today? Hi. Hey, Spurgis. Most people are good at breaking things. Yeah. I enjoy putting them back together. Yeah, me too, man. Uh, have you seen Felix anywhere? Oh, this is still a bit of a... There's no bed here. <laughs> this is still a bit of a mess. Desk man! I'm not taking your desk man. I'm taking your soap, though, oh, and the light bulb. Junk. It's useful junk. Huh. Why don't you have a bed here, Sturgis? I'd make you one, but I don't have any wood. Anyway, I thought this was not your house. This is Felix's house. Where's my rep gone? Is he hanging around the workshop? He does that sometimes. <laughs> Traders, when you want them. Because when you think you're safe, you're not. Yeah, yeah. Chill, Marcy, <laughs> chill. Oh, man. I always wanted to say that. It's quiet around here. Yeah, very funny. There you are. Hello, sir. You, know what? What? you found it. Talk. Did you climb through the window? Well, yeah. Look at the two of us here You're in, in sanctuary. sanctuary. I know, man. Prepared for the future. He always has to do his spiel before he can uh, actually. Hey, now that you're back here in Sanctuary, how would you Just like a job? to remind him he's actually anyone. got a job. Tech, just to make sure everyone filled out their forms. I was supposed to win a pack of steak knives. I think his brain got a little bit frazzled by the rads. What have you got to trade today? But he's a good trader. He's a tier four trader. So some of these NPCs you run across, um, I think for every trading station that you can get, there is a special NPC who can be recruited to run it. So vault rep is for the general. Um, the woman from WRVR Radio does clothing. You've got Ron Staples, who I haven't found yet this time round. He's the barman. Um, the other ones I can't name. But I am pretty sure that for every station there is a special NPC to go with it. Uh, right, dude, I would like to sell you for a start. Oh, why have I got a pipe pistol on me? Um, pre war money. Thank you. And I would like to buy a lot of wood. Yeah, this Apocalypse Left Grieve is the special thing that you can get. Grants increasing energy and damage resistance the lower your health up to plus 35. That's what he sells. 
Um, and I can't remember, we haven't seen Sean yet. I can't remember what Sean wanted this time around. Pretty sure he asked me for something. I gotta go and remind myself what it was. Picked frames of wood as well. Um, I'll leave it at that for now. I might be back. Have we got a? Oh, never mind. Right, let's just put all the junk in there. Actually, oh, some stuff I didn't want to. Oh, nuts. Some of that stuff I actually didn't want to put in here. We've got a Voltec lunchbox. That's good. Um. Oh, it's in miscellaneous! Right, I can put lunch boxes in from my miscellaneous tab. Um, yeah, I think I picked out chalk and... Oh, not the charge card, but never mind. Um, lead as well, didn't I have lead? Yeah, I just want the one. Desk fan! I think I think the teacher needs a desk fan. One that Vincent doesn't scrap. Oh, we can have a few plastic pumpkins, I suppose. Got tons of stuff. Um, I think that'll do for now. Right. Do, do I need to fix this? I mean, I, I have quite a lot of cats. Yes, I do. Quite a lot of cats in Sanctuary, but uh, here we go. <laughs> okay, so this still needs cheering up on the outside. Um, let me just put down these things. Oh, I was going to make the security. If yes, I might have to persuade it. Oh no, I don't. It's fine. It's good. Because, you know, even Diamond City School, they've got a Diamond City guard there looking after the children. It's very important. Alright, we've got a little narrow way to get through, so one at a time. Um, this should be able to be... Ah, I can't get in there. It should be able to be manned by a guard. Maybe I can just shove it. Oh, I can shove it all the way over there. Actually, that's even better. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. Um, gives you a bit more space. You've got to wash your hands. Because. It's very important, you know, hygiene. Very important, especially in a wasteland school. Goodness knows what you can pick up out there. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I just need somebody. I've got 17 people here. Why is happiness down? We've got a million beds. We've got massive defence, loads of power. Tons of water. Okay, we might need a bit more food. Is there anybody who doesn't have a job? I think they all do have jobs at the moment, but... Right, you're... Sturgis, okay. Well, I know you're unassigned, dude, but I don't really want to assign you to anything in particular. Um, 
The trouble is, I think a large number of the population are actually provisioners going out from Sanctuary and just coming back sometimes. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get any more than 17 people here. I'm going to plant some more food. Mute fruit because it's pretty. It'll look nice outside the school. I'm, I'm quite sure I've planted a ton of the stuff. Um, so that's fine. Just, just a few, I think. Right up front, that's nice. So we can we can get through there. Right. Do you know before I do anything else? Um, because I'm getting close to the end, I did promise Miss Vixen that I would show how to wire up a lamp. So I'm I don't know if you're lurking, but uh, I'm going to make a a go. I'm going to have a go at this and clip it if I can. So the first thing I need to do is get power to this. Make sure I've got a... actually let's put this one over here. Make sure I've got a concrete pillar. And make sure that moves before I do anything because I know when you clip something it's only like 30 seconds long so I just want to be very concise <laughs> in everything. Um, so although I could run a wire directly to the top like I have done with this one as you can see wires are all over the place. There is actually a power line there as well, that's good. So I'm going to run the cable if I can do the wire glitch from there over to here hmm I don't like how that looks let's take that off let's try running it from somewhere else um maybe from this one because I know this is powered I want to make sure the wire isn't really seen so much Okay, that's disappearing into the foliage there. So, you've got your powered conduit. It has to be powered already. And then you get your lamp post and your concrete wall post. Group select. Oh, no you don't. <laughs> no you don't. You make sure this is wired up first. Wire it up. And then that's lit and you should be able to move this on top of that. So if I can just find that and hopefully please work <laughs> yeah no okay normally that works and it buries and I'm going to have another go I knew this wouldn't go first time maybe sink that a bit more uh. alright yes I just had to sink the concrete post a little bit more so there you go and that should go over to there and if I plonk that down so you've got a wire going into it from the bottom it's practically invisible if um, if this floor this ground is lower than that one let's just clip it there um, if this ground is lower than that one then that becomes even less visible but you don't have a wire going from the top there now so I can get rid of that ta-da practically practically wire free <laughs> hidden wires um, and then if you wanted to you could still attach a wire to the top of that and run power up high if necessary but that is lit so there you go and we don't have a wire running across the front of the school, which is a good thing. 
Now, this needs to be prettier. Maybe we should put paintings outside. I do need to put a sign as well. Um, I think the sign's going to go on a marquee, actually. I think. Or is that too showy for what I want to put? I can't remember how I did it last time. I don't know. Oh, I think we can. I think we can do that. Um. Yeah. So if I want to light this up and not have wires everywhere again, I can. Well, I've already got a conduit down here, so that's fine. say so that's fine. Why is it not going through? Oh! Yes, I just have to get the right angle. There we go. Alright, so that is lit, even. <laughs> Ta-da! It's school! <laughs> uh, and then we've got marquee um, Where is it under? This Okay, so I need to write. The school is dedicated to Vincent's cousin. Von Zander. So I'm just going to write the Von Zander school. Hello, devilish. How you doing, my friend? A U. Uh, there's an N at the end. B A U G H N. Born <laughs> and then, hang on. Well, I'm on the N. Z A N should go there. Yeah, I'm okay, thank you. Not too bad. A little bit tired, but that's all right. Sunday, no, Sunday is not the collab stream just yet because Miss Vixen is doing a special thing of her own on Sunday, the first. But all of the other Sundays in May, all of the other Sundays in May are going to be the collabs, yes, from two till six. Whenever you can arrive is fine. Um, no, Sunday, well, I'm going to, I'm going to load it up maybe tomorrow hopefully. Um, Friday offline I've got to actually just go into the game, make sure everything's fine, uh, make sure I've got Fallout first so I can do a private server and just make sure everything is ready. Then Sunday the 1st I'm going to do uh, just my own private little, well not private but my own stream in my usual slot from around about 10 o'clock in the morning just bimbling around my camp get some practice in exactly <laughs> yes I just need to get used to it again so I thought well if I if I have a quick look by myself offline first and then I use the first Sunday just to bimble around the camp and get used to things maybe maybe go out not too far though um, yeah and then hopefully on the following Sunday ah! <laughs> can't wait for that so you and me and Miss Vixen possibly a mutual friend don't know about that yet um, but uh, two or three of us together at least that should be good right I am trying to write a name a bit piecemeal <laughs> um, there you go no, 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 you just host it, it's fine. If you can host it, I would appreciate. No, I wasn't expecting you guys to actually stream it separately. Um, that's up to you, but 
yeah no just hosting hosting is fine um more than two people streaming can be a nightmare yeah that's why i thought just if i get you to host and we'll we'll do the playstation party chat and that seems to work better than the game party chat so my other half and i've discovered um which letters do I need? <laughs> I've got N. Uh, yes, it's like, how do I spell this guy's name? And I'm writing it out of order, it's really confusing me. I wish I could just type this in, but I can't. I have to go left and right. Yes, I need an A. I need an E. And I need a D, and I need a Z. You don't have much to do in game. I bet you've done just about everything. <laughs> That's okay. Ricky's just going to expect. I presume you're going to be playing static. Are you going to be playing static? There quote cousins sort of cousins vault cousins um I need to write school I'm just going to write school but I think in America what because it's 4 12 or Static. You did finish the settler story on your other character. Okay. Um, like, ah, the school system in America is different to the here anyway. I'm just gonna write school. It's easier. Let's see if I can spell school. How many times have I typed school? Having also worked in some as well, and I missed the H. <laughs> I can spell well. My spelling is good. It's just when I'm typing that things go haywire. Um, that's the right place for that. Yeah. <laughs> solo. <laughs> no, not solo. Uh, shul. Yes. Yes, go to shul. There's the missing C. There we go, the Von Zander School. Right, now we haven't finished it yet, even though it's got the sign up. Um, I want some decoration. Let's find some paintings that look like kids did it. Why are you backwards? <laughs> some of the abstract ones actually are quite cool. Um, <laughs> Blobs. Yes, the preschool kids did that one. It's not fine art at all, it's just preschoolers. Uh, let's have some over here. Oh, that's a nice one. I like that. And... Lines. That's quite a pleasant one as well. There we go. So we have a little bit of colour. Like they've been allowed to decorate outside. That's quite nice. I like that. Um, so inside... Oh, I need a guard. What story did I get up to? Did I finish the vault raid? Yes, I finished the vault raid. I got into... I got into there. I got my gauss shotgun. That's what I got. I never got a backpack. I never got the jet backpack. Um, oh, we need lights in here as well. <laughs> right, school lights. What can I use? To be honest, I... I have no idea what he's got in his inventory at the moment. I can't remember what power armor he got apart from... the mining one and another... 
at least one other suit. I haven't finished the main story yet. Um, I've got as far as I think starting to be ready to look for launch codes, but I don't know if I can be bothered to do that really. Um, yeah, these cage lights seem like a good idea. I need a blackboard as well. I haven't got my blackboard yet. Um. Oh, we did a fun light for the. We got a little kiddies, little kiddies corner. For the tiny ones. Um. I wish there was a ceiling version of that, but there is not. I could... I could persuade that to go on there. Let's do some persuading, shall we? <laughs> oh, and it's lit up even out here. Um, Minerva might have a cheap jetpack plan. Ooh! Yeah, I think I think we're gonna our characters are just gonna meet up at Ricky's and then you guys can just say, Hey Ricky, go over here and have a look at this cool stuff and I will just follow you and do my best not to die because <laughs> I don't know. I I can't remember all the controls now, you know. But it's gonna be fun. I think that's gonna be part of the entertainment is me fumbling about remembering stuff. Um Try this. Da, da, da. Ooh. Plan salesperson with a twenty percent discount sounds good. Right, that is way too high. Way too high. I need to go down another. Uh, yay much. So let's try this. Move, move this up. It has to be sunk a tiny bit into the floor, I think. <clears throat> right, where are we now? No, that's too far. <laughs> Why did you not work? Actually, can it go through? Oh, it can go through! Well, that's different. And it kind of looks like it's sitting right on the shelf, so I'm going to do that. I like that. That's different. Okay. You can re-roll legendaries on weapons now. Oh! How many times? Just once? Because, <laughs> yes, yeah, sometimes you get crap legendaries. I remember that. Um, we need more lights. I wonder if... <laughs> disco light. Maybe not disco light. I don't really want the street lights either. Strobes are not fun for people's eyes. Um, as many times as you have the item for it. Oh, okay. Ooh, these are all... It is lit up as well. Because there's power all over the place. Right. Put those on the corners. This might not light up. I don't know. Oh, it does! Even there! Sweet! Ah, <laughs> it doesn't. Why is there no power right there? Where I really wanted it to have power, okay. Never mind. I obviously need a power conduit over this side in the middle somewhere, but that's fine. Um, I was thinking strings of lights, wasn't I? Can I put them on the fence? Oh, will you not let me put them on the fence? 
that's disappointing. Alright. Oh, you'll let me put them up there? I don't really want to put them around the missile launcher though. Here? I have a better idea for here. Um, it's under decorations. Is it under New World? Galactic Zone? Yeah, these posters, these are cool. And they light up. I feel like we could do a, a game of some sort here, I don't know. Hello! Fed yourself. <laughs> I've got to go feed myself soon, actually. Um, I'll stick around for another 10, 10 minutes or 15 minutes, maybe. Ooh, yeah, let's let's do this. And then, I don't know, the kids can, like, play a game with this. They can make something up. That's quite cool. So, yeah, we've got a little playground. I've covered over some graves. <coughs> I mean, some lumps in the ground with some cars here. <laughs> um, ooh, uh, there's some fake... Oh, i got to put a rocket there, because it's fun. I never know where to use these things otherwise, but a kid's playground seems like the right the right thing. Devilish, you think you need a pepper shaker plan for meat week? Okay. Meat week. Honestly, what? I vaguely remember something about meat week, but I'm, I think it's gone. No, not Nuka Girl like that. Um... Nuketown, USA. There's some fake shrubbery. That's what we want, fake shrubbery. Yes, we do. Um, maybe here as well. Pepper Shaker is a Gatling shotgun. A Gatling... Shotgun. Yeah, I can believe it. Uh, they make all kinds of crazy things up. But wow. Yeah, my other half bear sheep actually watches a guy called Jonathan something from the Royal Armouries. Um, and he's a good sport because he, he has done some videos on um, like he's, I think he's the chief curator of the Royal Armouries or something like that. He is a curator, definitely. Um, but he's looked at various guns in Fallout, for example, and he's said, well, this is kind of based on this real life weapon or um, broken it down as, as to why things wouldn't work in real life. And it's quite interesting to watch. Um, but he's also come out with some crazy real life weaponry from, you know, historical weaponry. And you're just thinking, what were, what were people thinking when they designed these things? So the pepper gun, you can use both heavy weapons and shotgun perks. That sounds pretty good. I haven't even got any, like, don't you have legendary perks now? I haven't even got any of those at all. Because I, I stopped playing just before those things came out. Um, so I have a lot to catch up on. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be fun. I've missed Ricky. I have to say, I have. I've missed him. Um. 
Right, so we have we have a playground. I think this is I think this is sufficient. Kids need a a space to just run around in circles. They've got it. Yes, I need doors. I think I'm ready to put a door on the back now. Because that's pretty much done. I cannot think of anything else apart from loose decorative objects. Um Yeah. For you, after several thousand hours in 76 as a content creator, you find it very hard to stick with it. Several thousand hours is fair. Good grief. Devilish, your main legendary perk heals you rads for five a second over time and gives you 400 rad resist. Nice! Um... Yeah, see, I need to look over Ricky's perks and remember what kind of direction I was taking him in. Eventually, eventually, he's going towards the ghoul side of things. I don't know, now might be time to start heading him in that direction. Um, which doors am I going to have? Kitten, hello! Oh, lovely, you've come in right in the last few minutes, but I'm, I'm going to stick around for ten minutes. I'll show you around. Um, I don't know, that looks a bit weird. Uh, maybe with the holes in the top. That's just too industrial. Little brown door. Maybe. Very boring, but actually, yeah, let's have a sensible. Okay, so boring, but it is sensible. A sensible door. Um, and I will put one uh, if I can get through past the desks. Hang on, I've got desks, I don't have any chairs yet. Ah! I don't have any chairs! <laughs> let's put the doors. Just use the same brown door. Pretty, pretty much the same brand all everywhere. Um, right, we have a lot of pretty chairs that I can use, and I'm going to make them all different colours. It's still a little, maybe a little dark. Maybe I need some lighting right here. Oh, thank you, Kitten. Oh, it's lovely to see you, always. I have to say, one of my favourite things about streaming is being able to show my friends what I'm building and and my OC's journeys as I'm actually taking them. I really enjoy sharing that. It's so much fun. Um, right, we have got some cute little colourful chairs at the end of this tab somewhere. Nobody has told me to drink. I have not had a sip. Silly me. I am slurping. You can spend your channel points if you like, but I'm slurping. Right, so we've got all these pretty chairs here. I think I will start with... I'll probably tuck them all in as well, because otherwise people aren't going to get past. <laughs> um, let's, go, let's go this way up the... Can I still walk past there? Yes, I can. Just about. Just squeeze by. Um, maybe not a black one. Let's go back to the beginning of the a white one. Yeah. <clears throat> I've worked in a preschool. I know. I know uh, what younger kids. Like I'm, I'm lost with Sprog now because Sprog is now a teen bean. So it's like out of my sphere of uh, educated experience. <laughs> well, when they when they turned seven, they were out of my sphere of educated experience. But um, 
Let's go. There you go. So I was I was floundering like when they were a baby. I was like, oh, I don't know what to do as soon as they turn two. All right, I'm in familiar territory. I know I know how to handle a two year old. Two, three, four, five, and six. I taught. There we go. We've got some cute coloured chairs. We've got some tables for some interesting things to go upon. I don't know what yet. Um, what have we got miscellaneous decorations wise? Yeah, then you know which chair is yours. You can say mine's the pink one and mine is the red one. <laughs> um, it just makes it look a bit cute and fun, you know. This is my corner for the toddlers. I know. Let's get to some light. Let's just Finn, go to sleep upstairs. This is the teacher's flat so far. Oh yes, I needed wood to make that table. Hang on, let's just stick that in there and then I can go to bed. Uh, it was one of the really nice modern tables. That one, but a new version. I think we have up this end. Yeah, can get around there. Can squeeze through. Good. And we've got so a very open plan kind of home. We've got a bedroom that needs some more stuff in there, but let's just go to bed for a bit. Yes, Vincent, it's one o'clock in the morning. What are you doing up still? All right. So tomorrow I'm going to be doing a bit of Skylar. And then Sunday, Sunday the 1st of May, hopefully, if it loads up fine and if all the updates go fine and if I can get back into it properly, it's going to be me running around in Fallout 76 by myself in the morning slot still from about 10 o'clock-ish for a couple of hours. And then the following Sundays are going to be with friends. Yay! So... And it'll be all raising money for charity. I will be having some Nightbot commands with links to the charity page. I've got, it's just giving slash the art of blossoming. Very simple. Um, and I will be posting on social media lots of uh, various facts and things and sharing EDS UK's posts and stuff like that. Um, and I'll be opening up for people to ask questions because I want to raise awareness as well as money for the charity um, so I can't do anything fancy with like notifications coming up on screen saying such and such donated this amount because I don't have a PC I'm just running it through my tablet um, however you people will get a shout out and uh, yeah, we'll we'll see how it goes. It'll be my first i my first time doing a charity stream. A couple of other little facts for people who are watching right now. I can get emails to my phone. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the Just Giving page open on my phone next to me so I can see when people donate. Um, yeah, and um, I was going to say something else then. And it's gone. <laughs> oh well, do you know what they've they've helped me a lot because um, it took me a while to get diagnosed, um, and it was it was a pretty tough experience. I will talk more about it next week. You're going to be bombarded with this all next week, but I'll, so I'll try and keep it a bit lighter this at the moment. Um, Oh, dang it. I was going to say something and it has just gone out of my head. It might come back. Yeah. A couple of things that I can tell you while you're here is um, art commissions. My prices are going to go up in May. But I think for anybody who donates, I might be able to offer 
the same prices at the moment that I've got. I usually hold about five slots open at a time. Um, what else? I don't know. <laughs> As if brain strikes again. So uh, we need some we need some books and things in here. You know what, Mac? I might I might actually have on me in my miscellaneous I might have some book like things oh uh, I might have like overdue books I could put on these cases I wish these bookcases had come either loaded up or with the ability to slot things in there but no um, oh there's an iBot model let's dump that here a few folders I might not spend time putting everything on the shelves right now because I'm getting tired so um, I'm just going to put a few things up but I might just leave stuff on the floor <laughs> to sort out later oh that one I want to put in my own bookcase the Islanders Almanac uh, la coiffe we can have a la coiffe laying around ah yeah the recipes I could put a couple of recipes down here because I don't think I need to have them in my inventory to still be able to make them I only have a couple on me, so I don't know where the rest of them gone. Um, do I have vault tech lunch boxes as well? Yes, I have one. Okay, that should go downstairs, really. You might want to pick that back up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll pick it up. And <clears throat> hey, devilish, thank you. Yeah, like I say, on the first Sunday, I'll be streaming from streaming it from ten till middayish, one o'clockish. Um, on the Friday, I don't know if Bear Sheep is working yet. If Bear Sheep is not working it'll be less time on the PlayStation because <laughs> it's his um, I'd love a, a nice cardboard box to put all these files in but I don't have one oh I bought model has to go which way around you mister there we go it's very tiny but it's uh, decorative Uh, yes, and I have to thank my other half, Bear Sheep. It's a Minecraft reference, by the way. It's, you know, when you shave a sheep in Minecraft. We just started going, Bear Sheep! Bear Sheep! And that's that's how he got his uh, username. So, yeah. So, Bear Sheep and Sprog have very kindly said that I could um, stream between 2 and 6 when they're both, eventually both home. They are actually both at the moment playing No Man's Sky, which has had a massive update and is very pretty, but I think... I don't think I would play it myself. Only because, I mean, it does look very involved for a start, but one of my major gripes is that the writing is so tiny, and when you're playing on console looking at your TV, as opposed to sitting at a desk looking at a screen that's right in front of you and especially when you're <coughs> years old and your eyesight isn't great or whether it's however old you are and your eyesight isn't great um it's not it's not fun to be constantly peering and saying what does that say so i think i'm 
I'm going to avoid that. Right, the shelf I wanted their little lunch boxes on the shelf. I need to collect more lunch boxes. There's one. <laughs> yes, that's where his name is from. Yes, it's just us being silly during Minecraft sessions. Schnip schnip. Beshi. We've also had uh, fields of rainbow coloured sheep. It's it's very cute. It's something that we've we've played since Sprog was very small. We've been able to play it together. Um it's cute. I haven't played Minecraft for a, quite a long time though now. I need more doors. Silly is good, absolutely. Um now nice doors upstairs since we don't have many doors what colour doors shall I go for? where are they? <laughs> under structures what colour is the teacher's doors going to be? any ideas folks in chat? we have all these lovely colours and I'm struggling to choose because I'm getting so tired I think I want one one with holes in it. <laughs> Just for you, Vanya. Okay, Vanya's got a red door. Kitten? Devilish? What a question even. <laughs> oh, funny. Right. Yes, yes. Kitten, what colour do you like? And I don't know if Devilish is around to choose a colour. Blue for Kitten! You get to do the bathroom, Kitten. For the Minutemen! Oh, maybe on the... Okay, on the veranda then for the Minutemen. Because at a moment's notice they can just open the door. You know, go onto the veranda, defend, defend sanctuary. <laughs> Devilish, you're eating. <laughs> well, you could type that. You can type a colour. Come on, dude. <laughs> What colour door? We've got a red one. We've got a blue one. We've got white and green left. I kind of wanted them all different. White or green? White or green for the bathroom? That's the one you're stuck with because you answered last. <laughs> oh, Dovish said blue too. Thank you for pointing that out. You both said blue. Fine, okay, you get a blue door as well. But I'm going to give you the blue door with the vent in it. The vent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Traitors. <laughs> There's no yellow door. They should have done a yellow door. Then you could have done vault tech colours, but no. Never mind. Thank you, folks. Lovely. Well, we've got the beginnings. We've got the beginnings of a... Let's get this show on the road. Max got really itchy feet today. He just wants to go. He just wants to go and have an adventure. So I think next time... What do you think, McCready? Heads up. What's up? How soppy are you going to be today? Hey there. No, Vincent doesn't like vault tech either, actually. Oh, shotgun shells. He really wants to go out and, and fight things. All right, I'm going to hit the soppy you button. About our relationship. The day you told me that you loved me was the greatest day of my life. Oh, thank you. Your thoughts? I always knew there was something special about you. Glad I found it. <laughs> oh, he's feeling soppy, and he wants to get going. All right, dude. All right. Well, I think we're going to have to leave it there. They are cute. Look at these two, my guys. Honestly. <laughs> um, they are in-game. They are roughly the same height. Well, I don't know. McCready's a little bit shorter, but maybe that's just the hats. But I actually had kind of that Vincent's about 6 foot 2 and Max 5'11", so he's about 3 inches shorter. Um... Yeah, come on then, you big teddy bear. What are we going to do now? Uh, I think you better... Oh, it's so hard to control when your character's there. The camera does weird things. I can't take it. <laughs> Let's make sure the... Doors work. <laughs> I may have to rethink this door situation. Wait a minute. Can I put it the other way around, please? Now much better and this one which way does that open perfect lovely we now have 
The Vaughn's on the school. For children between four and twelve-ish, because I think in the wasteland by the time you get to about twelve, you, you probably start learning a trade <laughs> or something like that. So, uh, yes, yeah, I suppose it's a junior school or something like that, with a preschool attached, essentially. Um, not that there's many kids to come here, but well, there's there's Sean and Duncan who live next door, so. School, been a Max house. Um, who hasn't seen the basement? Who hasn't seen the cheeky basement? That I was going to put a gate here for actually. Oh, maybe I should just do this for last thing. <laughs> uh oh. You know, cheeky basement, that sounds wrong, doesn't it? I've just realised I do that a lot, actually. I say something completely innocently and it's got double entendre to it. I apologise sincerely. I did not mean to do that. It's just basically, um, there's a way that you can put a... You can build underground. And I learned this from School Zone, School with a K. He needs a shout-out button. Um, on YouTube, anyway. And that's not what I want. Fences is what I want. Um, it's an exploit. So I may not have mods, but I do have exploits. Just trying to get this fence in here. There we go. So through here, where the other side of this wall is, is the root cellar. And I couldn't, I didn't want to mess with that at all because that's you go through a loading screen into a separate area which you cannot build in however here is the <coughs> door not the trash bin honestly <laughs> and I've sunk this nuke victory station in because if you go to craft and then quit out hello we have a meal bomb yeah hi Hello, everybody. Dimity's here. Um, yeah, so if you go to the craft station, you the ground. And you can build. Look, it's clipping through, you can see. But if we ignore that, we can go underneath. And this is Sean's bedroom. So if we get down low enough, it does look like you're. Oh. Sometimes that looks like dirt. There we go. That looks like dirt. <laughs> there you go. So he's got his own private little... Private little toilet with his toothpaste. <laughs> I like these bottles. I thought they were cool. He's making blight lamps. Um, and he's got his own little pad down here. Now eventually when he gets to be a teenager... He gets power armor as well, so he's got a special bat, the fence buster. Um, he's got a little desk where he can do his tinkering, because we know how much Sean likes tinkering. He's apparently doing some chemistry as well. Yes, he's still got some toys down here. And he's bed with jangles, because uh, his pa doesn't like jangles. McCready thinks jungles is weird. Actually, Vincent doesn't like jungles either. Um, yeah, so he's got a nice little pad with his name to it. If I go in this corner, you can have a look at the whole room. So this is all underground. <laughs> How cool is that? How cool is that? I just could not wait to try this out when I learned how to do it recently. Um, so, yeah. Kudos to School Zone, schooled with a K over on YouTube. If you want to find any exploits for using uh, the building system in Fallout 4 without mods, how did I even get the <laughs> the basketball to sit on top of the lamp? Oh, pure skill <laughs> and a few attempts. Yeah, there were it rolled off quite a lot. I don't know, but I'm leaving it alone. I'm backing off. I don't want to knock it. Um, but yeah, I've I've merged the toolbox into the desk because I thought, well, let's 
split that up and make it look like tool two toolboxes basically. It's his purpose built desk. Um, so I've used a few tricks. These, actually these hardly need a trick at all. They they just slot right into those shelf units. So they're really good. Uh, you've done that too, haven't you, Kitty? Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm chuffed with this. I really am. And to get out again, he's got his fancy power armor station. I need to find Sean a special suit of power armor because in the in my head canon, basically, Vincent finds a way for Sean, who is a synth, to get transferred into an adult body, a bespoke custom adult body, who looks an awful lot like Vincent, because genetics and stuff. Yeah, he finds someone to make him a. A grown-up body. Um, I I learned that from you. I thought I thought I did actually. <laughs> yes, because the uh, the little cottage in Ten Pines Bluff, Skylar's. That's where I did it first because I saw you do it. Thank you, Kitten, for that one. Um, yeah. Anyway, Sean gets to grow up and stomp around in power armor when he's sixteen, eventually. So to go upstairs, I wanted to make sure I had a way out and not get stuck under the ground in a weird fashion. So I made some steps so you can just pop up and then you don't fall down through the ground. So there you go. That's I'm so pleased about that because I've always had it in my head that Vincent would put a basement in or there would already be a basement or he'd, tr he'd convert this place, that root cellar, into Sean's bedroom because there's only two bedrooms in these little houses. Okay, sitting above my head, I built you a whole house, Mac. Look at the size of this thing. You've got a sniper's perch up there and everything. And we've got a good boy. Yes, we've got a dog beat as well. Charming. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Fleas. Uh. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I am very pleased with how the school's turned out. There's more I can do, but the the essential stuff is built. So I'm going to hit the hard save right now. So while we go to blue screen for a minute, um, thank you all for joining me. And I will be back tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning. No, 9.30. 9.30 in the morning. Um, with Skylar in Far Harbour. Yes, Skylar's in Far Harbour. And it's going to be difficult for me because basically the game, Skylar's game, is going off in a very diff different direction to her fic. Um, thank you, Kitten. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try things with the survival mode in Far Harbour that I didn't do the first time round with my original Skylar. I want to find out what happens <laughs> just for the stream essentially for the stream version of the game so it won't be her canon story it will be just uh, literally the games game version right big hugs all round guys you you add some fun into my life thank you very much I just missed the 1 11th comment I think kitten that was probably you actually <laughs> Um, yes, you take care of yourselves. I'm going to get myself a nice hot cup of tea and warm my cold hands up because it's freezing here in the UK today. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now. <laughs>